Good evening, Lisa. Good evening, Andrew. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, an extra video being recorded today, as we've just heard about the the sad news about Jacqueline Pierce, haven't yes, we? Yes, that she's, she's passed away this morning. Yeah, sadly. And it was a bit of a shock to me. It was. Yeah. It was. I mean, I know she had been unwell in the past, but I didn't know she was unwell again. Yeah, because. What was it, two years ago? Two years ago we saw we her. We saw her. said she was on fine form. Because <laughs> mm. this was at the Regenerations Convention mm -hmm. in Swansea. Mm. And I think Warren saw her first. He did. He went and had his photo taken with her yeah. in the photo session. Because she was supposed to be the first panel of the day. But she'd, um, she'd had a <laughs> little bit too much wine the night before. Was it, darling, I'd had two bottles of wine and I watched Strictly Come yes. Dancing. So they bumped her panel to later in the day, but bunged her in the photo studio regardless. Yeah, and Warren went and saw her. He did. And he thought she said she was very nice. Yeah. And I wish now we'd had... We, so do we, I, yes. Yeah. I wish we'd had our photo taken with her. Yeah. Yes, because... She, you know, he said she looked quite lonely because she was just there sitting in there. But she did a panel and it was brilliant. She did. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah. Because is that the only time we've seen her? No, we've, we've seen her at a um, battlefield a few years ago. Right. So, as I, I said to you earlier, didn't I, that um, in the evening entertainment, I think they were going to do oh, blimey, Give Us a yes. Clue or Shiraz or whatever. Shiraz. And somebody had to explain to her what it was. How to do Shiraz. And I still don't think she got it. Bless her. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the Friday night, and that mm. was that was utterly brilliant. Mm. Yeah. What 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 what's charades, darling? <laughs> what's charades? Oh bless, yes. Yeah. So did we get a design in the thing or not? I don't we, know. I don't think, I don't I think, think we've we got did. a signature no. on the thing, have we? No. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. But tonight we just watched. You better hold it we up. Watched Blake Seven Series Four. Sand. The episode Sand by Tanith Lee. Tanith Lee, because I think that's one of her best. Oh, she's fantastic in she it, is. isn't she? Yes. I mean, th this is not a review video of, no, of the actual no, episode. We can do that on another occasion. Mm. So for once, I didn't sit and make all my copious no. notes. I just sat, what, sat and enjoyed the Watched episode. It and enjoyed it, yeah, because it's. I mean, it's got Which a great cast. Yeah, and I haven't seen that one in a, in a for long quite time. Quite a long while, yeah. No, I can't remember yeah. when I last saw. But she's. It, it's very good because it allows. Um, Serverland to show her vulnerable side, mm. which you never normally see. Well, that's the clever thing because um, you never quite know whether she's being genuine, do no, you? No, until the she's... until the final scene. Yes. Yeah, and or whether get... she's sort of playing it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. But because some people say that would it have been interesting if it was Avon down on the planet with her. But I don't think it would have been... Is really, that too obvious? It is a bit too obvious. Having it as Tarrant... Yeah. And Tarrant's... I mean, Tarrant's really got issues with her because she caused his brother to be killed. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, this episode also sort of fills in a bit of backstory of Servaland's early life, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, yes. which you've not really had any clue no. about before. So, mm. you know... that. The series is in its fourth year, and you're mm -hmm. still learning things about, about the characters. Jacqueline's yeah. character. Mm. So, I think you know because wasn't that initially that it was the old Terry Nation thing of um, mm. her character was written as a bloke. Yes. And and then. Yeah. So is it in the in the casting? I think David Maloney might have said let's let's cast yeah. a woman in this. Can't. I don't know because who's the, who's the first director? Because her first episode is what Seek Locate Destroy. Is it George Fenton Foster? No, he, he's not. No, I know he, he does. Oh no, he does later on, doesn't he? I'm not sure who it is. We'd have to look it up. No, I, I'm mm. going to have to look now. But uh, mm. but yeah, the, I mean, she yeah, she's. I mean, she's been playing the part for four years, mm. and she's got, you know, she's really got. She really knows what she's doing. She does. She does. And I would say as well, I know that she, I, I've read interviews with, with um, Jacqueline and, and seen panels and, where she said that because she had quite short hair, mm. they wanted to dress her in a sort of military uniform. Yeah, right. And she said, well, if you're going to do that, darling, you might as well cast a man. Yeah. So that's why she wears the long, extravagant dresses, which in this case is a little impractical. Been hiking across the sand. Well, well, it, she has like three phases, doesn't she? Because yes. she's all in white a lot yes. to start with. Yeah, and then she does a little bit of red. Because uh, doesn't the costume designer change or yes. something like that? Yes, she yeah. gets Shirley Bassey's 
costume Shirley Bassey's dressmaker making her dresses which is why they're so fabulous because the, the the red thing she's got on in Gambit is, mm. is it's a, well all of the costumes in Gambit are extraordinary yeah. that's one we'll have to do at some point yeah. love Gambit but by this point she's all in black isn't mm. she and, and there is a theory but it doesn't quite work because I think she does wear black but there, there is a theory that she wears white and, and other colours red until um, Children of Aaron, Children of Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. and after the the because she's in mourning, Babies. isn't it? Yeah, she's in mourning, so she wears black. But she wears black before Children of Aaron, I think. So it doesn't quite work. Yeah, we well, can wear black before. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but she only, after Children of Aaron, she only ever wears black. Yeah. So, whether that's true or not. I mean, yeah, she, she, it's, it's interesting in series four, because, mm -hmm. of course, she's playing... She's sort of basically under... Undercover yes, in disguise, she's, isn't she? She's, she's not. She she is Serbalan, Yeah, obviously. but she's Commissioner but she's Slear. She's known to the world as Commissioner Slear. Commissioner yeah. Slear here, dear. <laughs> as Elaine once said. <laughs> yes, because of course we did a hmm. a Blake Seven hmm. sort of uh, take off, mm -hmm. and uh, Elaine had to play Serbalan. Yes. yes. And yeah, she was a what was it a pacification stick or yes. something? Like that. It was a big silver thing. And she kept hitting she Andrew Candish. Hitting Andrew Candish over the head as Orac. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I mean, what what else have we got that she's in? Cause well, I did mean to look this up, and I I didn't. I know she's in an episode of Shadows. Yeah. She's in the episode of Shadows with oh the one with, with uh, Clive, Clive um, Swift, Swift and his eggs and his, eggs. And his magic yes. eggs. Yeah. yeah, she's the mother of the child. Yeah, and she was in she was in one of the black and white series we were watching, and I can't feel like I remember which one. It might be a Mr. Rose actually. Okay, a series one, Mr. Rose. But she's in one. She's a model in one. Hmm. I, it's a black and white episode, and I can't remember what it is, and I didn't mean to look, and I forgot. But she did. She did so much stuff. Yeah. I mean, obviously, she's in um, the Two Doctors yeah. as Chasini, mm -hmm. and she's brilliant. And she's <laughs> basically playing another sort of version of. It's interesting se that. season twenty two because you've yeah. got both her and Paul Darrow in yes, the same season. Same season, yeah. not in the same stories, obviously. Yeah, yeah no, but it's so. only you know it's a couple of stories apart, mm. isn't it? Um, so it's interesting that they yeah. both sort of were invited into Doctor Who around, yes. around that period. Yes. And um, I think the last thing I saw her on television, actual broadcast television, she was in One Pointless with Michael Keating. Oh, it yes. It was a 70s um, special, Pointless Celebrities. And she and Michael Keaton got through to the final. Yeah. And bless her, I, I, I could have hugged her if I'd seen her because she was playing for Bassey Cats and Dogs so, Oh, yes, yeah. Which, I mean, they didn't win the prize, but they, they got they got quite close. <laughs> and obviously, as as they always do on Point of Celebrities, they give £500 to each couple that have taken part. Yeah. So she did get some money for Bassey Dogs and mm, Cats. So. Nice. But if I'd known that at the convention, I would have sort of liked to. Yeah. But give I, mean, her a hug. I mean, sort of hearing sort of. Her tell sort of stories and mm. things like that about her mm. life it was, yeah. is, is always interesting. Cause, yes, she's had, had an extraordinary life. Yeah, because I, I think she's someone that you know you you don't you don't necessarily feel you n sort of know anything about until you actually sort of hear her speaking no. in real life. Because yeah. yeah. I've not really seen sort of many interviews where she was you know quite as necessarily as open as, mm. as she was when 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 she's in a room with you. Yes. You know? um, yeah. So I mean, what what I was going to say? What are what are some of the sort of stories that you can remember? But... Um, I know there's one about the I don't even know what it is, but I know she she said she was uh, this was years ago. I heard her tell this, but she was living in a little village and a telephone went wrong, didn't it? And she went to the shop and she couldn't remember what it was. And she's going that, oh, that thing you no because she wanted a, a new television. Oh, and, a new television, yeah, yeah. Because I think this is in Doctor Who magazine yeah. in the letters page or something, yeah. and she says. She goes in the shop and says, I'd like a new television. All right, yeah. No, not television. What is it? Um, that thing you talk into. What's that thing? That thing you talk into, darling. Yes. Tele <laughs> telephone. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think I can identify with that sort of <laughs> slightly scatterbrained sort yes. of quality because, yeah, I, I, I'm like that sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, I think, again, she's one of those people I wish we could have sort of spent an hour with over a drink or something yeah. like that, because it oh, would have been fabulous. Yeah. I do have a slight connection with her, right. in the fact that I once had my hair cut by somebody who had cut her hair in the past. Oh, oh, I don't what? know how... How, how did you know that? He told me. I don't know how we... I can't remember how we got onto the subject, 
Unless we were talking, I don't know. Where was this? It, when the hairdressers, obviously. No, but where? What when I lived, uh, lived at home. In? In, in Hall Church. Oh, right. Okay. You obviously worked in London somewhere. And you see, oh, yes, I, I cut. Uh, I cut a hair once ago. <laughs> <I'm> like, okay. Because <laughs> I think at, at that time I had it quite short. So yeah. whether it was to do with that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I once had my hair cut by somebody that cut Jackie's hair. Jacqueline's <laughs> hair. I was going to say, don't call her yeah, Jackie. Like apparently, Jackie. Apparently, she didn't, she didn't like that. And I've only yeah. learnt that in sort of the last... It's fairly recently. You know, yes. last few weeks or yes. so. But, yeah. But, yes. Apparently, Jax was all right, Jax according, okay. to, yes. according well, to some a, people. There's yeah. an audio thing she did with Toby. That call, says, me Jax. call me Jax. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, she didn't like nuns either. Eh? Hey? Didn't like nuns? Nuns. Well, she, the school she went to was run by nuns, and I think it left her. Oh, right, OK. Um, wanting to rebel. Wanting to rebel. <laughs> and don't remember. Okay. Didn't like Derek Nimmo either. Right. Okay. So, don't me. know why. We never got to the to the root of that story. What was that you said about John Hurt or something? Oh, John Hurt. Yeah. Uh, when I know she she lived abroad, or when she came back to the country, she had nowhere to live, not much money. So he let yeah. her live in a house right. and just gave her an envelope full of money. I went, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Have some money. Have some money. Because. <laughs> So what did you say? So her and John Hurt are having, yes, having some and, wine. I'm sure her and John Hurt are having a lovely party at this moment in time, okay. wherever they are. Well, just wanted to say thank you to Jacqueline Pierce yes, for, for, for being Serverland. brilliant. Yeah. yeah, she was wonderful. Yeah, but more than Serverland. But more than Serverland. For being yes. Jacqueline Pierce, I for think. For being Jacqueline Pierce, she <laughs> was a one-off. Yes, that's true. Yes, there will never be another. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, everyone. We'll say, we'll say good night then. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.